We're going to take a look at our final graphic. It is a composite graphic. I want to show you how we built this. First of all, I'm going to turn on the background layer. That simply is a graduated background that we like the looks of. Now, we put a little bit of a highlight up here in the upper left just to make our logo stand out. Once it's in there, there's nothing more you'll have to do to it. It can just stay there. There's another highlight that goes right here, and we have some text with the part number. And I'll get to that later on, but we also have just the front quarter of the vehicle, and then over the top of everything, a close look at our wheel with the color on it. Now just to show you the dimensions, now this is a pretty poor quality image, but just to give you the numbers, the car is about 460 pixels wide from this point over to the right hand edge. The wheel is a little bit bigger from one side to the other, is 482 pixels. But the wheel is really the most important thing, so it makes sense that it would be right up front and it would be the largest item on the page. All you're going to have to change are these two graphical elements, the vehicle and the wheel. And I'm just going to take you through one way that you can do that. Use your own skills and your own background to determine how you want to do this, but I chose the quick select tool and there's good contrast between the car and this parking lot so I just went through and selected the vehicle or at least the parts of it that I want to keep. We're only going to do the front part of the car but let me just make sure I have enough grabbed here. Now in the process of getting the tire, I'm also going to get part of that parking lot, but that's okay, we can clean that up. Okay, now that I have the part of the car basically highlighted that I want to keep, I just copy that, create a new temporary image with a transparent background, and paste the car in. Now first of all I'm going to crop it because I don't want all of this. I only want the front part of this car so I'll take it down to just below the tire and then crop that. Now I can use the eraser tool just to kind of quickly clean up some of the edges and we are not looking for absolute perfection, just kind of a quick cleanup so it looks a little bit better. But I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this. As I say, it's just a quick cleanup. Okay, get rid of a lot of this very fast. Okay, now, this is why I print this out. I've got a, a paper copy of this, so I have these dimensions. We want 460 pixels, so I simply am going to go up here to the image size and make it 460 pixels wide. Once I have the right size on a transparent background, I can copy this. I can go over to our main graphic and paste it in. Now, of course, if I drag this up, I can put that layer on top. Let me move it into position. We want it clear over at the right-hand side. And there. So now I can go in, select the other vehicle that was there, and simply delete that layer. Okay, now we have our new car in there. Now let's go over to the wheel, and what I'm going to do with that, I'm, I'm also going to use the quick select tool on that, but I'm going to select everything except the wheel.
that happens pretty quickly and then I can go up to select inverse and I have now nothing but the wheel that is highlighted so I'll copy that create a new temporary image with a transparent background and paste it in now we only want the top half of the wheel so I'm just going to crop this quickly here uh, roughly the top half okay now I need to resize it image size and it was 482 pixels wide okay now that I have the right size of wheel I can go back to our original graphic paste it in now again I need to drag it up here so it's in the foreground reposition this so it is over the top of the other wheel okay and now I can go in and just delete the old wheel all right we're going to go to the text layer and it actually is true text now what are we going to change this to we've been working with these files the name of these files is chcav1 that is what I need to change this to all right so all I have to do now is change it to this value up here which is C H C A V one. Now just to review what I'm using, it's Times New Roman regular 27 point strong and it's simply black text. So now that we have everything completed on this, we're just going to leave this as a PSD. So I'm going to save this as the name we just gave it, which was chcav1.psd. I have the right folder that I'm pointing to, and I'm going to save that. Okay, so now we can simply move on. We can delete all these temporary files that we've created. and then simply go open our next vehicle and wheel and repeat the process change that part number and save it with that as the file name and that is the complete process for for creating our absolute last composite graphic that will go on the website